Okay, Ben, thanks for coming and being with us here at the San Antonio Manufacturers Association trade show. Can you tell us a little about your company and uh, maybe how long you've been in business here in San Antonio? In San Antonio, we've been in business here now for uh, seven years, sorry, eight years. Oh, wow. And uh, my company is Burke and Prusky Metal Fab Powder Coating. And we actually integrated my dad and Mr. Burke, uh, Jim Prusky and Mike Burke. They actually were working with another company called KCI. Oh yeah. For um, over bit 20 company, right? years. Okay. And so in that time frame, they took in um, contract work to fill the void whenever hospital beds would go down or up. So yeah. we would be able, they brought in all these customers. Well, when KCI decided to uh, stop manufacturing, the, those contract customers didn't have a place to go. Sure. So they all called my dad and Mr. Burke and they said, where do we go? And my dad called me and said, hey, do you want to do this? And you know, I'm a biology major. Right? Oh, really? Biology? And, you know, uh, a little I know, bit different. I know how to cut and weld. They said, you'll learn the rest. And we sure did. So That's great. Uh, technically they've been doing the same products for over, um, oh man, that would put us almost close to 35, 37 years. Yeah. So, but our company here has now just been, uh, we're on our eighth, ninth year now. Wow. So, so has technology changed much in those eight years that you've been working in, in manufacturing or? To me, not too much, but the, um, we have gotten more involved with it. Okay. So uh, we've been using more more technology to manage our inventory systems. Uh, we did purchase some new um, new equipment as far as a new turret punch that runs twice as fast as the old one. We wow. did that this year, and we just put in a state of the art powder coating line that was custom designed to what we've seen the trend and um, here in San Antonio and really in South Texas. Yeah. And where we can go from doing thousands of parts in one run to where we can throw one thing on to change colors real quick and do it and then go right back to our production stuff. Oh. So that they, the guy that was building it for us, he really didn't want to do that because he said, nobody does this. And yeah. I'm like, well, that's because it's changing. We need it done like this. Right. And it was kind of a fight, but we got it done and it's been, it's been wonderful. So you, I know you're really involved with SAMA and you've done a lot in yes. there. Has, how has that, I know you've given a lot. What has it given to you? What does SAMA mean to you as a manufacturer? Um, they really stick up for you. That was one of the big things. Um, they really have someone to fight for. When we were trying to move our company, uh, they got us involved with the Economic Development Foundation here. Okay, yeah. They got us a place here to, uh, to stay and we stayed in San Antonio because SAMA was here. Oh, um, that wow, was one thing they did for us. Yeah. The other thing that we, um, I've really taken advantage of and I, I really love this part was the Plan Op 6. I had two or three guys with me now that they've been with me for seven years. And I knew they had another step in them. They could they could do something else other than just work on the line. And like, right. he's always trying to improve something. So I sent him to one of the supervisory plan op sigs, and it was I think it was four weeks every Monday. And they made them do like how do you how do you create a better process? How do you do this? And I'm telling you, they came back and they finally it's like they it clicked. Click they saw why I'm always out there going, hey, no, this needs right. to be better. Yeah. And it they they really understood why. Now and, so, and ever since we've done that, that was about a year and a half ago. Um, that's all he does is come up to me and says, "Let's try this." I said, "Well, we'll try it if it works. We'll yeah. keep doing it. If we won't, we'll never do that again." Right, so, right. Um, that was those were the two biggest factors that Sam yeah. has really helped us out. That's with. great. Yes, that's great. So if I was a, if I was new into San Antonio and I wanted to start a manufacturing company, what kind of advice would you give someone younger or someone that wants to be an entrepreneur but manufacturing is kind of maybe their calling or something they want to be a part of? Number one is you need to have a customer. Okay, that's you, good. You need to have a customer going in uh, because it's it's a tight knit group. That's definitely in San Antonio with actual manufacturing of metal products. Uh, and the second was that you, you're going to need a big investor. Um, you're going to need those two things. But um, if you wanted just to join the manufacturing community and work for a company like that, there, there's the possibilities are endless. Yeah, so. yeah. So is there anybody um, like I know? people we've been talking to earlier today they said it's the employees there's a ton of jobs there's not enough employees to fill it and uh i think doug from uh m2 global was talking about you don't even really need to have a, a full-blown college education to get in and get started right. and and work up because you guys will as manufacturers help them along get to where they want to go yes and we've taken kind of a different approach to that uh, we for our welding department we have we have basic welding needs what we do we don't need sure. really those many certifications um, so what we've been able to do is partner with some of the um, the academies around here there's the Alamo Academies yeah, yeah. and South Texas Vocational they supply welders so what we've done with them is we bring them in and I have two students right now and two people that have just graduated 
So what we do, we know we're a stepping stone to, yeah. to their next their next thing. So sure. they come in and they, they'll they work and they'll learn how to really sit down and MIG, do a little bit of TIG welding with us. And then a year or two after they're comfortable, they go find their job and then they go start making their bigger money and move up, in which right. we're fine with that. We yeah, know what yeah. it is. Uh, but that's been a system we've really gone to. And the other one is even though that the we, we uh, have a better grasp on who we need to bring in. We don't need completely skilled people at this part. I can teach you everything you, did, you need yeah. to do, but those those basic things that you kind of need not to read a caliper, you know, sure. can you read a drawing? Yeah. And after that, I can teach you the rest, but we've, awesome. been, we've had actually pretty good luck. Good, well, thank you so much for coming no by today and, and all your help in SAMA. No problem, thank okay. you. Okay, thanks.